All right, and our final uh, winner tonight of the data challenge for most creative is Katsunori Okada. <coughs> Here? Yes. Okay. So, our concept is uh, basically we went for abstract and art. So, take the data, assign the sound or tones, whatever that you know, makes sense. Um, it was uh, pretty difficult to actually assign the sound based on the duration and speed and you know, what to, uh, what to how we translate the data because you know, sometimes the saturation of the sound makes it completely useless to anything. But right? for, for our concept, uh, it's you know, just an art. You know, Expression. <coughs> so the the time scale goes through the whole day in about 20, 25 seconds or so, and it's sort of compressed into the twenty-five or thirty seconds. So in the beginning of the day, nothing much going on, but once you started to pick up. On uh, morning time and not shower time, you can start to hear noise or sound. Okay. These are trips leaving the station or arriving? It's, it's sort of each trip, it triggers the sound. Who's the main leading the station? Okay. Who was that person? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was me. I have to come to the car. <laughs> Or something because some of the station is not much actively going on. Yeah, it's a Can you select any day or is it a site? Yes, you can change the day. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Like, so, this would be a good place for you can imagine a second visualization that would be about you know, a lot of noise in a day, which would help you choose the day you want to listen to. Like right. a visual browser for. I really love this because it's like it's it's almost the opposite of the whole city one. The city one tries to ca capture a bunch of different trends at once. This one is just about like going into a single station in a single day and conveying those trips in a way that's kind of very visceral. So you so you get a really good sense of like what the rhythm of a of a station is with this one. It was also totally unexpected. Uh, never never thought of it. It was just really cool. I didn't think it was gonna be almost like a musical box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you talk about the choices of why you chose those sounds in those uh, pictures? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, somebody uh, gave me uh, three or several sound samples, and I'm not I really care. I'll take Personally, I have a theme of the many personal things. 
having the one piece, and then the next person gets it to target the next sound, or multiple sound and targeting. Basically, you kill the blouse of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to build the entire um, audio file from the server, uh, basically building a MIDI, uh, MIDI to where you can then stream it out. The problem there is trying to sync visuals with the sound. So I was like, you know, let's just pick simple tones, <laughs> play it when they hit a certain mark. <coughs> is this not using D3? I'm sorry. What, what are you using to photograph it? Uh, HTML kind of canvas. Just think most like HTML. Yeah. So you spelled it from scratch? Yeah. Well, I wonder how much the sound could begin to replace the visualization. I mean, I think it'd be pretty amazing if it were a graphic that could completely communicate itself audio, not video. So, like, if the uh, number of trips or the distance of the trip were the note on the scale or like the volume of the tone that you could sort of embed more information into each sound and start to remove the Do you want to match up with this of uh, Adrian Hall Barty's uh, sound slice? <laughs> that would be awesome. Also like put a beat under it. And then you, <laughs> you could guess which neighborhood from the beat. Like I think it's like that could be actually a way to re, you know, give scale to the graphs so you wouldn't need any of this. And then you can make infographics for blind people. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the, are you saying not visualization, but like audioization? Yeah. Yeah, audioization. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I really like the way you use like um, negative space. So you use like the empty sound to indicate something, that's cool. Right.